Hi everyone, this is Mr. Almena from the CARE team, and I want to let you know that September 15th to October 15th is Hispanic Heritage Month. Now I know what you're thinking. How is Hispanic Heritage Month two separate months? Let's take a moment to explain. The observation started in 1968 as Hispanic Heritage Week under President Lyndon Johnson and was expanded by President Ronald Reagan in 1988 to cover a 30-day period starting on September 15th and ending on October 15th. It was enacted into law on August 17, 1988 under the approval of Public Law 100-402. The day of September 15th is significant because it's the anniversary of independence for Latin American countries, Costa Rica, El Salvador, Guatemala, Honduras, and Nicaragua. In addition, Mexico and Chile celebrate their independence days on September 16th and September 18th, respectively. Also, Columbus Day, or Dia de la Raza, which is October 12th, falls within this 30-day period. That's a lot of independence. That's what makes it so great. And really, if you think about it, what would the holidays be without Jose Feliciano's Feliz Navidad? Or can you imagine baseball without Ted Williams, Sammy Sosa, Mariano Rivera, or Roberto Clemente? These contributions and hailings from other Spanish-speaking countries around the world have imprinted themselves on our American way of life in countless ways. And as a community, it's time to take a moment to honor them. So here's seven tips on how to celebrate Hispanic Heritage Month. Number one, honor Hispanic people. It would be impossible to list all the contributions made by Hispanic people to American life, but there's no celebrating Hispanic Heritage Month without paying tribute to a few. Read My Beloved World, the autobiography of Sonia Sotomayor, a New Yorker of Puerto Rican descent who, in 2009, became the first Hispanic American to serve on the U.S. Supreme Court, as well as only the third woman to serve in the entire 220-year history of the nation's highest court. Number two, appreciate Hispanic art. You know, visual art is one of the few ways in which we can experience a culture. Latino landscapes, portraits, social or political issues, and cultural touchstones all can be found in the work of Hispanic artists in L.A. Look for opportunities near you to experience their works. Number three, read Hispanic literature. Immerse yourself into the lives and times of some of the world's greatest writers. Read the poems of 1971 Nobel Prize winner Pablo Neruda, a Chilean who was awarded the prize for a poetry that with the action of an elemental force brings alive a continent's destiny and dreams. Number four, listen to the music of talented Hispanic performers. Broadway aficionados are certainly celebrating Hispanic Americans these days. After all, the smash hit Hamilton, a hip-hop musical based on the life of founding father Alexander Hamilton, was written by Lin-Manuel Miranda. Miranda, a Puerto Rican, stole the 2016 Tony Awards when his musical won a record-breaking 16 Tony nominations and took home 11 of them. If you can't watch it online this month, Stream the soundtrack, which is now the biggest selling cast recording in American musical history. Number five, discover Hispanic American history. Immerse yourself in the history of, of Hispanic Americans by watching Latino Americans, a 2013 PBS special detailing the histories of Latinos from the first European settlements to today. The website for the special contains episodes, a timeline of events, and even an opportunity to share your own video story of what being Hispanic means to you and how you celebrate your heritage. Number six, have fun the Hispanic way. What's a Hispanic celebration without a piñata? Drop by any party store to pick one up or, or make one with a balloon, paper mache, and whatever treats or toys you decide to fill it with. History has it that Marco Polo brought the idea to Italy and Spain, and missionaries brought this idea from Spain to the New World. The traditional shape of a piñata, a sphere with, a, with seven conical points, symbolizing the seven deadly sins, was said to contain the pleasures of life. The person batting it with a stick was meant to represent faith, which can defeat evil, so the traits inside are the rewards of faith and action defeating evil. Awesome. Number seven, dime the Hispanic way. A life without chips and salsa, guacamole, tamales, burritos, enchiladas, chili, or Taco Tuesdays is tough. In the U.S., oftentimes the places that Hispanic influence is most evident 
is in what and how we eat. Take for instance the fast food industry. According to the Washington Times, sales of tortillas now outpace those of hamburger and hot dog buns combined. And salsa has surpassed ketchup as America's favorite new condiment. Wow. So slather up some guacamole on a chip, dance cumbia merengue, and pay tribute to the thousands of ways in which Hispanic nations have touched our lives. Try celebrating Hispanic heritage all month long, and perhaps the rest of the school year with your family and friends. Que Dios te bendiga. May God bless you.